the number of Americans living with Alzheimer's is growing. An estimated 6 million people are affected by the disease, which causes memory loss and other mental functions. We talk about how early detection is key with many health-related issues, and now Advent Health is working to get results with early detection of Alzheimer's. Bridget is standing by now to ask a doctor about a new pilot study. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. Early detection can help doctors prevent Alzheimer's progression. We recently spoke to Dr. Steve R. Smith, Chief Scientific Officer at Advent Health, and we talked about the Davos Alzheimer's Collaborative and the works and who qualifies. The big idea is this. For people whose loved ones or they themselves think they might have memory issues, we, we invite them to take a digital assessment on their computer and as a means of saying, okay, yeah, you need to worry or you shouldn't worry in terms of memory and, and how the brain is functioning. For those who have some problems that need further evaluation, we're bringing them in for a full neurological assessment, including, this is really new science, there are some blood tests that we believe may be able to detect the damage that occurs with Alzheimer's in the brain early that we can then say, okay, you need to worry or you don't need to worry. And I think that can both reassure people if they don't need to worry. That's always a question. Uh, I left my car keys. Does that mean I have, I'm heading towards Alzheimer's? Well, maybe, maybe not. And so this is, this is the way to discern those two different uh, probabilities. The test is actually very simple. It only takes a few minutes to do. And it's, it's, it's on a computer screen and we show different playing cards. And there's kind of a game you play to remember which cards you had last and which one might be coming up next. It's very simple. It just takes a few minutes. You can do it at home in your own, in your own private environment. And we'll give you the results of that and then connect you with the people in the research institute who have maybe more information for you on what, what, what you might be, be able to do next. As Dr. Smith mentioned, the online test can help determine early signs of the disease, allowing patients to begin treatment earlier. The main risk factor in developing dementia is age, and he says one of the most common symptoms early on in Alzheimer's is memory. So I think most families are good at picking out when somebody is needing a little bit of extra attention and maybe one of these diagnostic uh, or, or digital cognitive exams, as we call them, these online tam the scans. And I think it's really interesting to, to think about how the people around us can help us inform. But we ourselves can know if we're not having a good memory day. Maybe tomorrow's better, but I think most people early on have a sense that they need to do something and they don't do it. And that's where this really provides an easy opportunity to say, okay, yeah, I can privately in my own home, take a test and make sure that I know where I stand and whether I need additional uh, workup or treatment. And Dr. Smith says a yearly blood test could help Alzheimer's patients get on the right track. And he also asked, we asked him why Advent Health was given this opportunity to be a part of this pilot program. We don't know what the future is. We do know that science and technology is going to be an important part of providing better care in the future. And this is really an example of that. Why Advent Health now? Well, we have friends who know about what we're building in our Brain Health Neuroscience Institute. You've seen the new building going up on I-4. And they said, they said to the Davos uh, Collaborative folks, look, there's a progressive healthcare system that wants to be the change that leads to the future. And they connected us with the uh, Davos leadership and with the other um, healthcare systems across the world. And so we're very pleased to be part of the vanguard of what we think Alzheimer's care is going to look like. We're also trying to make sure that we get the people who need to go to neurologist to neurologist or to their family practitioner or other places. And that, that really will help us uh, right patient, right place, right time, right treatment, as opposed to, you know, swamping our neurologists, which we're looking ahead 15, 20 years and going, oh my goodness, how are we going to handle all this? Mm -hmm. So again, it's over the horizon. How can we learn today the medicine that we're going to practice in 15 or 20 years? 
And this particular test Evan Health is doing is available for anyone 65 and older who's not been diagnosed with dementia to check and see if you're eligible. We've included a link in this web story on clickorlando.com.